Hey everyone, it's me, Cameron. It's nice to see all of your wonderful faces again. You are probably wondering, why am I making this video? Well, this was not a video that I filmed before my mission. I am actually home right now. I have come home from my mission. Now, many of you already knew this, or have heard of this, or have not heard of this and are really confused and worried, don't be. Coronavirus. Two words. That's all it is. Coronavirus. Or COVID, if you want to call it one word. So, um, I guess I just wanted to make this video to discuss uh, some things about it, some plans that I had, uh, what the future looks like for me, because there's a lot of uncertainty within my future. Just thought I'd update you all, tell you how things are going, and uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. So, first thing I wanted to talk about was um, my mission. My mission was super fun. I had uh, a first companion named Elder Madsen, and he was super cool. He was a great trainer. Uh, we learned a lot. I should say I learned a lot. He taught me much. And we had many fun experiences. I'll maybe make a, a mission montage later. But yeah, it was an unforgettable experience just within the couple months that I was out before COVID came. And you know what? I wouldn't trade the, those two months for anything. I got to teach lots of really cool people. I got to share the message of what I believed in. And... It was honestly an unforgettable two months. So we were enjoying ourselves out on the mission field, uh, deep in the heart of Indiana. And then suddenly rumors started going around about Corona. As missionaries, we don't have much access to media. And so automatically we kind of imagined that people were overreacting. And so we continued doing missionary work, knocking door to door. And soon we realized um, people weren't really wanting us to knock door to door. We'd knock on doors, go to shake their hand, and they'd take a step back. And honestly, I don't blame them. We didn't even know how serious it was until um, our mission president told us to lock ourselves inside, buy a few weeks of food storage just in case. So that's what we did. We bought some food storage. The shelves at the store were, were desolate. That's how we knew something was going on. There we were, locked inside our, uh, our apartment. You know, first it started with um, no more knocking door to door. But you could still go outside and like talk to people on the sidewalk. And then even that was out of the picture. No more social interaction. And then it kind of just got to the point where every day was sitting locked up in that small apartment with... Uh, with your companion and studying, doing what you can on Facebook to preach, but that's about it. So my companion and I decided to make a video while we were out locked in uh, quarantine that I would say summarizes what we were experiencing more than more than words could tell. So I'll go ahead and uh, I'll play that clip. Enjoy. You've been here so long. 25 years. I know. I know. Hopefully the cure will be here soon. It won't last long, you know. We're almost out of our Honey Nut Cheerios and Reese's Puff Supply. Not to mention, we're just running out of our Ward Christmas 2019 candy. I wish. Wish we had toilet paper. Stop. Don't ever say that word again. That is a luxury that we may never partake in again. <sighs> ah. Those were simpler times. <laughs> you know, 
We call them madmen for stocking up on toilet paper and hand sanitizer, but I guess they really did get the last laugh. I was thinking maybe we could go outside today, knock on people's doors. So what, it's your time to go? You think you can just move on from this life or something? You know what, honestly, after my studies of the plan of salvation, next life is starting to look a lot better. Don't be foolish. We've been Facebook missionaries for the last 25 years. Why stop now? <coughs> oh, you're... You're infected. Uh... Yeah, uh, I've been meaning to tell you. Uh, I packed my bags this morning. I was going to tell you today. Um, I'll just go. I saw those. I was wondering what they were doing by the door. <laughs> Companions never split apart. If you go, so shall I. Well, looks like a good day for missionary work. You ready to go do this? Listen, don't take this personally. I'm a huge germaphobe, and I just clear in the waters. No harm, no foul. Get lost. I'm not interested. I'm happy with my Christian church. Have a good one. Hmm. Well. Okay. Yeah. It was terrible. It was not a fun experience being locked up in an apartment. And it was it was really extra terrible because Elder Madsen too. He was a total country bumpkin. I'm talking like cowboy. He rode bulls. He was super cool. Went cliff jumping. So you got this guy. Oh. And then you got me, right? And I'm just this nerd who plays Dungeons and Dragons. Isn't that right, Gibby? That's my droid, Gibby. But yeah, it was, <laughs> it was a fun experience, but it was definitely, the quarantine, I wouldn't do that again. The mission I would, but not the quarantine. Then transfers came. And for you, those of you who don't know, transfers are when uh, every six weeks, missionaries basically move to either a different area or they might get a new missionary companion but stay in the same area or sometimes you'll even stay with your missionary companion and stay in the same area there's some missionaries who stay in the same area and stick with their same companion for like months um, so hopefully those people get along but I was moved into a trio now a trio is Kind of like having one missionary companion. So the two of you walking around. The only difference is instead of two, it's, it's tres, three, trio. So in this trio, we had a blast. I'm not going to lie. It was fun. Uh, all of us were just, you know, hanging around, playing games on our P-Day going outside, trying to play some sports and avoid any other social interaction. Um, they were really cool missionaries. Uh, we even baked a, a pie this one night. We, we even threw a party. Yep, there, there was Elder Clark right there. Hey, Elder Cardoza, we'll miss you. We lit the candles just for you. So yeah, we threw, we threw this party. 
one of the best experiences of my life. I, uh, I had a good time with those, with those missionaries. Then one night, we were just hanging around, studying, um, listening to Kanye's gospel album, and I was called, and uh, now I'm here. I'm home. You know, it was kind of weird. Lots of missionaries were being sent home early. Uh, we had you know, 60 or 70 missionaries come home just from the area of Indiana that I was in. And the transition, it was a little bit weird. I mean, I hadn't been out in Indiana for too long, but the thing was I had also, it was like I went from college to my mission to home. So it had been a solid six months or so since I really got the home life. And it's strange, I'm not gonna lie. The whole coronavirus is really weird. I, I've i never really had to live through something like this. And it's super strange because I have tons and tons of friends who uh, were so close to each other. And literally, they just live a couple streets down the road. But we can't hang out. And it's especially weird because I just came home from college and for my mission. It'd been half a year since I've seen a lot of these guys and and now I now I can't talk to them. So yeah. Now I'm here. What are my plans? What am I doing? Well to tell you the truth, if you're wondering if I'm going back out on my mission, I'm not sure what the plans are. Obviously that'd be nice. But with everything going on, it's kind of difficult right now to determine what the future looks like. I didn't really want to waste time not knowing how long coronavirus would take. I decided to take a semester at BYUI online. So that's what I'm doing currently, uh, majoring in theater arts, go actors. And I'm also working at Amazon currently, so Got this full-time job, got college going for me. So I'm making sure to stay productive during this time. I definitely don't want to just be sitting around at my parents' house. Oh, and if you can't tell, this is my older sister's room. So don't mistake in the colorful bed sheets and the random Brazilian flag for my own attire. This is, this is not really my style, but my younger sister has taken over my room during the uh, six month period of me being gone throughout college and my mission. So, what other things am I working on right now? Well, I still got my YouTube channel up. That animation that you guys might have seen on my channel, that was actually, uh, I made that while I was home. That wasn't something that I worked on before my mission. Uh, that was a kind of kind of a fun video. I'm hoping to make more animations, maybe ones that are less choppy. <laughs> that one was really bad FPS, but it's okay. I'm still working on it. That was just the first one. Um, I started a, a Twitch account. Well, I already had one, but I started working on it more, especially now that we're all quarantined. Um, so that's just Saparky6. I'll link it down at the bottom. Check that out. Uh, it's where I just work on more animations and play some games, write my book. Oh yeah, I'm working on a book right now. It's a pirate book. It's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, if you want to check that out, drop a follow. That'd be cool. And then I have my YouTube channel. Still going to be making videos. I love making videos with my friends and hopefully sometime we can get together and film something and post it up. So time to talk about some bad news and some good news for my channel. So let's start with the bad news. I posted roughly 40 videos, um, or I pre-posted 40 videos, I should say. I pre-posted 40 videos on my channel that were supposed to drop uh, at various times while I was on my mission. Many of these videos included 
messages to my family, messages to friends, me talking about um, memes that were out, you know, two years in the past or whatever. I, I had a wide assortment of videos that only made sense if I was out on the mission and out of the loop. My birthday video that came out earlier, that is included on the list. That was one of those videos where it's just a conversation of me talking with everyone because I'm out on my mission. But if those videos released while I'm home, it wouldn't make sense, right? Because I could just tell them these things myself. I don't need a video to show it for me. So uh, I've made the decision to take all of those videos down. If anyone's interested in watching them, such as my family or my friends, they can just talk to me and ask, and I'll show them the video that I made for them. I made a birthday video for each member of my family. I made um, a Mother's Day video, random update videos, videos, you know, predicting what my future life would be. So yeah, all those videos are down. They're all private. Uh, Maybe one day I'll show them out, but for now, they're going to stay private. So that's the bad news. Sorry for all of you who were really looking forward to seeing me tell my younger sister I loved her on camera. But uh, it's okay, because I have good news. I didn't think it was fair, taking down all these videos. I really hyped it up, you know? And... A lot of the videos were taking a while to get out, right? It was like, you had to wait a whole month until another video came out. And I was like, that's not that fun. So I decided that I would compile all of the fun videos that I worked on. All the skits, all the videos that I would have just posted in general. I didn't necessarily need to be on my mission to post these. But they're just funny videos that I worked on. And so... That's what I did. I compiled them up. I scheduled them out. And they are going to be releasing every two weeks. All the way up until Christmas. Why does it stop at Christmas? Well, you may have noticed the Chef Boyardee video that was set to premiere in two years on Christmas. Well, lucky for all of you, I'm a very generous, kind soul and I've decided to pull back that Chef Boyardee release time to this Christmas. So now instead of having to wait 700, 600 days or whatever it was, now you only have to wait like 200 something. So you have that to look forward to. And on top of that, you no longer are going to be forced to watch my messages to my family and my messages to friends, things like that. Now you're just going to be getting straight, funny content every two weeks. No matter what. I've already set it up. And I've made the schedule really consistent. I think it's like... What is it? It's like the 5th and the 20th of every month. Or it's like the 10th and the 25th. It's something like that. Uh, you'll figure it out once you start watching them. So we got every two weeks content coming out. Additionally, I'm going to be working on videos. So it's more like every one to two weeks because every once in a while I might throw in a, a little video here and there. Uh, and so hopefully you guys are entertained. I want to keep this YouTube channel lively. I want to keep it from dying out. And if anyone's interested in wanting to film something go ahead and just text me or call me or do whatever message me on instagram if if you don't have access to my number cameron underscore car disaster there you go uh, but yeah i think that i think that's it i think i covered everything i guess this is time to sign off I hope you're all excited for the random, funny, or not funny videos that will be coming out every two weeks. 
I look forward to showing you all these videos. And, uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully you'll see more of me. If not, enjoy the rest of your lives. And I'll either be here, at college, or in Indiana. Alright, have a good night everyone.